Welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video. Gonna bring you some technical analysis on Bitcoin, show you the price charts, talk a bit about the altcoins as well. If it's something interesting, drop that like, give me a subscribe. What's going on? Let me flip the, the camera so you can see what I'm about. So I've got Apple Vision Pro here. I've just been looking at it. This looks kind of cool, right? The whole kind of have your office space in a virtual space is kind of cool. I like that. So I've been checking out Apple Vision Pro. I want to show you these charts, show you what's going to happen with Bitcoin. I've got the count the channel here. I said to you in the last video, be prepared because at some point we're going to see these candles come back into this blue zone because it can't stay outside long enough. And you know, if you missed that video, make sure you check it out. It's a powerful video. I'm just going to sort of take you back in the uh, charts just to show you the past of what I was talking about and why I believe that we would eventually come back in. So if we go right back in the past, right, I'm just going to zoom this out a bit, stretch it out uh, or stretch it in, just come back and take a look at some of, some of the things that happened in the last cycle. So this was 2016 to 2017's bull cycle. And we have examples of this already. So when you come and have a look at this, and again, this is Bitcoin on the weekly time frame using TradingView, right? I've got the index chart. You can get it up uh, yourself if you like. But every time we see blue, can uh, sorry, or just green candles come out of this blue zone, eventually we start to see the, the candles come back into the zone and come and test this yellow line. And that is what I think we're going to do now. I think we're going to come in and test this yellow line. Hopefully we can hold support because if we don't hold support, then obviously we might see a fall down to this blue line, maybe pierce through it, right? Worst case scenario, I'll talk about that. But, you know, every time we've come out of this top blue zone, because you've got the two, two, almost like Bollinger's, almost, not not 100% accurate, but almost like Bollinger's, uh, Bollinger Bands. But every time you see it come out of this blue zone, it's euphoric. It's too much buy pressure, too much buy power. People are buy, 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 which is why eventually you see it come back in and it usually holds support. I think this is the top of the cycle, because if I zoom out like this, you can see many instances in the past where it's come out of the blue line. You see it comes up comes down and then we usually see a support. Now, something like this could happen with what we're experiencing right now, like a wick. We might see it come down to this yellow line and we might see it wick through, see a massive sell pressure and then get bought back up really fast. At least that's what I'm hoping for. So if I switch this forward now, come up a bit, wherever the price action is, where are we? We're right here, right? So this is where we are currently today. You can see again, the, the candles are outside of this blue area, right? So now we're starting to see it come back in. What's the price action? Where are we looking to hold support if we was to come down and touch this yellow line? I could probably bring it up a tiny bit. It's basically a price of, where's this? $37,600, right? So that's my target for Bitcoin, $37,600. Expect that to happen in the next sort of day or two because or a week, in the next week, because it's weekly candles, maybe a week or two. Expect it to happen because, you know, this is what it speaks of. So don't feel like, like you know, you're shook or you're, you're scared and worried about what's happening because I'm trying to prepare you in advance as to what's going to happen. Worst case scenario, if we pierce, if we come below this yellow line, I expect it to come down here. We could see a wick. We could see a massive fall down to about 31,000. And then it could be a wick gets bought back up and hopefully we can see another body candle remain above this yellow line. Why do I say around the 31,000? Well, if you look over here, it actually is around $31,300, right? 31,378. It's because that's where the support is. That's where the support and resistance is. So if you look when we were trying to break out of this zone in the past, you know, right back from, uh, you know, January, December, January. Yeah, this area here, we broke up. We came above, look, we were, we were bouncing between this blue line and the yellow line like we usually do in a bull trend. But look at the top. We couldn't get above this white line. So that we got re rejected here. We fell down. We came back up here. Look, tested it, tested it, tested it, tested it for four weeks. These are weekly candles again, tested it for four weeks, we couldn't break above, we got rejected, and then eventually we broke above. So this is why I believe that if we're gonna fall in price, we're gonna come to here, where at the worst, it comes down to here, it will bounce off it, and that again, that's sort of around, you know, 31,378, something like that, 31,600, that's the sort of lines where these are. I don't know what this yellow line is, maybe there's another yellow line somewhere. 
Uh, but yeah, that's the mark that I'm looking for on there. And then I've got this one up here, which is the um, Bitcoin Pi Cycle. This usually calls the top of the market, right? So it's, you know, ideally I'm, I'm using it to call the top of the market, but I'm just looking to see if it will come down and test this yellow, sort of like this yellow, yellow orangey line. And if we do, again, that's marking $38,000, right? So we will, you know, we should see price come down to around 38,000 to 37,000. I want to prepare you in advance. So, you know, you're not worried, you're not panicking, you're, you know, you're prepared for this. And who knows, you might see opportunities to buy crypto really cheap. Yeah. Let's take a look at the altcoins. Show you what's going on with the altcoins. Just this is basically all the altcoins, all of the market, um, the money that's in altcoins is just loading now. One second. Uh, so this is the altcoin chart. It's basically the total market cap and I'm excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum, meaning this has nothing to do with the money that's in Bitcoin, nothing to do with the money that's in Ethereum, just all your other coins. Yeah, your Galas, your Mirias, all of these sort of other Caspers, all of these other coins. Yeah. So this was our base. You can see we had our base down here. I've got the Fibonacci retracements on, which is the rainbow colors. I believe at some point in the future, we will see this market cap come right up to this uh, blue zone, more specifically touch this yellow line that I've drawn. It's like a golden line. And that's my signal to be selling some crypto, taking good, healthy profits. Now, everyone's going to be different, right? That might not be your target. You might want to wait more years to come and take some more profits. But, you know, I've been buying down here. So that could be a good first place to take some good profits in case we come shooting up and then collapse back down. That's if it, we even get the chance to do that, because right now Bitcoin's falling in price. Maybe it might push the altcoins down a bit more, but I'm uh, hoping that it still holds support here. And as you can see, it's holding support of this blue line. Again, we came up, we got rejected, fell down, right? So this is our next line of support. Like, so you, we've come up, if we fall down, we've held its support twice over the last few weeks. Again, this is the crypto total market cap three, excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum on the weekly time frame. So we've held support here twice over the last few weeks. If it falls down, I expect it to sort of hold support around here again. Uh, we don't really want to see it coming down to these levels down here because then we might see further lows, but we'll see what happens as time goes on. I'll keep you up to date on that. I'm hoping that we start to see it come up and touch this yellow line in that blue zone. And who knows? Maybe you could see insane gains over these next coming months. At least I believe so, because if Bitcoin's selling off, cool. Where's the money going to go? Because they're taking all this profit out of Bitcoin. People want to make money. So where's it going to go? Altcoins. At least I think it'd be altcoins. So yeah, that was this. Just flip my uh, camera around. <laughs> I'm going to leave it here. If this was helpful to you, please drop that like. Give me a subscribe. Hopefully it helped you. Have a good day. Keep smiling. Life's short. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Cheers. Oh, 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 oh,